Where did modern Christianity come from? Two primary individuals. Number one, Paul. Paul was an early convert to Christianity who never met Jesus. He says he met him in a dream, but he never actually met Jesus before in when Jesus was walking on this earth. And Paul began to preach a very different version of Christianity. Paul began to preach that Jesus was not just the Messiah, he was the Son of God. Paul also began to preach that Jesus, you don't have to follow the law to believe in Jesus. Belief in Jesus substitutes the law. If you believe in Jesus, you don't have to pray or follow kosher or, or eat according to the Jewish tradition or anything. All of it is gone. If you believe in Jesus, you are saved. And Paul also began to preach that Jesus' message is for all of humanity, not just the children of Israel. These were the three main things that Paul introduced that Jesus never said. Jesus only preached he's the Messiah. Jesus said, follow the law. And Jesus said, I am for the children of Israel, not for all of mankind. Paul changed all of that. And the second figure is the figure of Constantine, the Roman emperor who died 337 CE, i.e. around 250 years before our Prophet ﷺ. So for 300 years, Christianity was a minority tradition in the Roman pagan empire. Christians were persecuted. Christians were killed by the Roman pagans until an accident, a fluke, Allah's qadr. The Roman emperor at the time by the name of Constantine, decided to convert to this obscure religion that less than 3% of his followers of his kingdom followed. Small religion, like Islam in America, small religion, similar to that. The Roman emperor, for reasons that are still discussed to this day, not the, the, the topic of our khutbah, decided to convert to Christianity. But which version did he convert to? He decided to convert to a version that was still somewhat similar to his previous pagan beliefs. And he adopted a version of Christianity that taught a Trinity belief, three gods. Even though there were Christian sects that did not believe in three gods. He adopted a version of Christianity that had a father figure and a son figure and a redeeming figure. And there are many parallels in paganism to this. And even the image of Jesus with a halo on top. And this is very similar to early Christ, uh, pre-Christian paganism. And there are many, many research papers and, 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 and dissertations done about the parallels between Constantine Christianity and between paganism before Constantine. A lot of parallels. So Constantine adopts a version of Christianity that was similar to his own beliefs. And then he makes it the official version. So much so, anybody who disagrees with that version shall be persecuted and exiled. So he banned any other Christianity other than his Christianity. And that became the Council of Nicaea and the Nicene Creed. And one thing led to another until it became the dominant. And then it became the only version of Christianity in the entire uh, world. We have 